Hello everyone, I'm Apostolis from EurovisionFat.com. Hi, I'm Apostolos and here us today is... Gala. <laughs> nice, to Hi, meet Gala. nice to meet you. <laughs> Very nice to meet you too, thank you for having me. How are you? I'm doing very good. Um, I'm very, I feel very blessed and grateful for all the support I've been getting from everywhere. It's amazing. Um, I'm doing good. I have exams at school right now, so I have to study. Um, but everything's going well. The sun is shining. Yeah. How old are you? I'm 17. Ah, oh, you're so young. <laughs> you're so young. <laughs> uh, so this year you're taking part in the national final for Belgium. Tell us more about the decision to participate. So um, there was an open call and um, the label was like, Gala, are you interested? Um, you can send some demos and maybe you can go to Eurovision. And then I thought about it and I was like, that's not a bad idea. So I send in the demos and they like it. That's how it went. So, so you are participating in the national final with two songs. Yeah. Uh, would you like to tell us uh, the meaning behind the songs? It was written especially for Eurovision, both of them? Um, it was not written especially for Eurovision. These were both songs I wrote when I was 15. So I've, I've had them for two years, um, but we never really had the opportunity to release them. It was never the right moment, you know? But now it felt like the right moment to give birth to the songs. Um, yeah, but... We had them for two years, but they fit, for me, they fit perfectly in my image and the Eurovision. Mm -hmm. What is and, the message behind them? Um, so um, each song, like, no, both songs have a strong personal meaning for me. And for others, I think if once they are released and you will read them lyrics, that you will find something about yourself in them, you know? Um, I cannot tell you too much about the songs, but I can tell you that they have, um, that they're very, um, um, that you have to be confident and um, be strong in yourself, you know? And um, yeah, Songs about society, about myself, um, yeah. And because we are fans of both of your songs, we love them both so much. From Thank you. What, from what we have heard so far, we went to hear oh. the whole songs. And But do you have a preference between the two songs? Is one of them stand out to you just a little bit more, maybe? Or you feel the same about both? Of your songs hmm. it's difficult because i they were both my babies and i yeah. love them so much um and it's really hard for me to choose because i like both of them um but i think i have a preference maybe for tankyet just because you have beautiful strings and um i think that it's more Eurovision-ish. Um, I don't know. You'll see, we'll see, we'll both see. This year, a uh, Eurosong has many good artists. Uh, do you have uh, as one uh, favorite song from the other participants? Ulala from Hunter Falls. Okay. Nice song. But then also um, Drive a Nail Through Me from Steph Gustav, I also like. Um, nice. Yeah, Sherin also has nice songs. They all have nice songs. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> it's difficult to choose <laughs> this year. Yeah. And also some years ago, you were participating on The Voice Kids, right? Yes, I won The Voice Kids in 2020. Ah. Great, congratulations. Uh, tell us about the experience and how this whole experience of The Voice helped you through your musical career so far. Well, it really helped me. It, it was a great experience and it helped me to realize that I love music and that I want to get serious about music. You know, I've always loved music and I've always known that music would be a part of my life. But I knew it, but I didn't know it. You know, it was like, music is important for me. I love making music. I play piano, I sing, but it was never clear. And that moment winning The Voice Kids was a light shining and saying, I want to make music my whole life. So I know that next week uh, you will be in the festival in Albania. And mm -hmm. I know that you have Albania roots too. Would you like to tell me about that? Yes. So my both my parents, my mom and my dad are Albanian. Um, so I do. I speak Albanian as well. Um, I think they came in Belgium maybe 20, 25 years ago. Um, I also go back to Albania from time to time. I love going to Albania. And fun fact, a very big part of my family also lives in Greece. Oh, and, nice. Yeah. And um, my parents have lived in Greece as well. So they both speak Greece, Greek. And... Um, my brother is born and raised in Castoria in Greece. Nice. And you come here for vacations in Greece on the summer? Yeah, yeah sometimes I come. I go to uh, Kalkidiki, Thessaloniki often because I have family there. Um, yeah. So you're talking to two guys from Thessaloniki and Kalkidiki right now. <laughs> Yeah, we can no. relate. We can relate. <laughs> I love it there. Oh my god! Um, I remember when I went there. We did like the whole like finger, and I loved Vurvuru Beach. Oh my yes. god! Yes. <laughs> but everything, everything there. Ah. So we're waiting for you in Greece this summer in Thessaloniki and Halkiviki yeah. to to meet. <laughs> yes. No, is about it. I'm serious. I think I'll go to Greece this um, this summer break. So we'll see each other if you want. Hope We're waiting for you. <laughs> We're waiting yeah. for that. Um, so let's talk about uh, Eurovision. What is your favorite entries in general? From Belgium, from Greece, from Albania, whatever you want. Um, I think my top one favorite entry was Monoskin. Did okay. they want me? That song, I love it. I love Manuskin. But also uh, Portugal in 2017. I forgot his name, wait. Portugal. Salvador Sobral. Yeah. Oh my God. It's such a beautiful song. These two are my favorite entries ever. And before we come to an end, uh, we would be very happy if you could sing us just a small, small part of one of your songs. Is it okay? okay. Of course. Well, whoever song do you want of them, uh, we just want to hear you sing. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll, I'll sing the piece you've heard. Devoted to my own piece, why I ask for my I see. Your devotion, I seek your devotion, and I seek your devotion. Very small piece, but here you go. <laughs> Thank you, it was amazing. 
Thank it you. Was amazing. Right. It's so crazy because I love Greece. And now I'm talking to people from Greece. Thank you so much. We thank you so much. Thank you very much for this interview. And we wish you the best, best Good of luck. luck. And hope to see you in Liverpool or in Greece. Yes, thank <laughs> you. We'll see you later. Bye. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank Bye. you, Gala. Bye.